Lacey here with Weikert Realtors. I am at 6230 Silva Rena Road in Bartlett, Tennessee to do a condition walkthrough of this home. Um, we are gonna take a look all around the exterior um, to begin with and then we will go inside. There are quite a few things I will be pointing out. Okay, first of all, you can see the chimney up there it may be hard for you to see but it does have rotting wood um, the exterior of this home there is rotting wood everywhere um, up here around the trim to the door these boards are rotting there's also ants through here they do just look like regular sweet ants and not carpenter ants um, however that's completely rotted it's just falling apart um, we'll go over here to the right. Um, the seal caulking on the window here is completely separated. That definitely needs to be recalked and sealed. The, the hull exterior really could use some paint as well after wood being maintained. We see chipping paint up above us all the way to um, the roof easement there this board or two boards that's going across cutting um, this side in half is rotten you can see where the wood up there is starting to rot here you can see that as well all down along the bottom of the home this wood is rotting. I think it's just due to weather and rain. Um, I have not seen any sign of pests or bugs in the sides. Um, I did kind of pick around at this spot here. It's just completely falling apart. Um, actually, I do see an ant there. There may be some carpenter ants in here. I don't think that's a termite, but quite possibly a carpenter ant. Um, you can see here, we do have a lot of debris on the patio that has been left. Debris over here by the trash cans as well. Old gas tank, propane tank, old computer. Um, and I would be careful here. There is some broken glass here um, I believe that may be from the sliding glass door we'll just go ahead around the back real quick there are several more tires there's even a beer keg broken glass more broken glass um, I believe that was at once a hot tub here is the broken sliding glass door um, I'm guessing it was double paned or or two doors that slide, but you can see where this has been broken. For the most part, this door does open and close. Um, on this side of the house here, we've got more rotting wood. Um, this is about to completely fall off, this piece here. Oh, we got some moss growing up where this wood is rotting in this trim. You can see on this side, this is actually completely rotted out and busted out. Maybe some critters get in there. Um, the same with this piece here. I mean, as I do this, I'm pulling the whole siding on the home right here. All of this. Um, there's a hole up there. Rotten wood. More rotten wood on the side. You can see all the peeling paint. Um, just a lot of weather damage on this home. It just looks like it needs to be completely resided. Um, we have a storage unit here. While we're here, I'll just go ahead and open it up and we'll check it out. Um, it does have 
some stuff in here. Looks like left by the previous tenant. You can see all the damage in here. Yeah, some critter's been pulling this insulation out. So there's something in these walls here. And all this debris left as well. Um, the utilities, well, I will say the electric um, is on in the home at this time. The lights are all working. However, when we came, there is a sign from MLG and W stating that they cut off the water because the meter is still running. There's a leak somewhere. And if I can find a way to turn it on temporarily, I will search for that leak. But at this time, I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Got more routing wood over on these sides here all along the house and that just looks a little concerning there's garbage bags and towels shoved up in that hole there um, AC unit is here and intact doesn't look to be any damage to it um, flashing on the side there is coming off this side of the roof doesn't look too bad there is a low spot up there in between those um, two white exhausts up there may want to get a roofer out there's a couple shingles that I've noticed around the roof that are starting to curl I don't see any that really need to be replaced at this time I'm still alongside more rotten wood okay the fence does seem to be pretty intact around um, chain link seems to be in fairly decent shape I don't see any issue there there's just some debris out here there's some extra boards here in the corner and what seems to look like maybe a a grate to something um, We've got the storage shed here. Doesn't seem to be too bad on the exterior. Um, there are some things that were left here as well. That will need to be removed. Actually additional door there and a step stool. some more stuff here okay there's some piping left here and some tile on the side of the shed back of the fence seems to be okay this jungle gym here um, is looks to be just a safety hazard um, probably will just need to be removed for liability reasons it is not in sound shape or condition so I would definitely suggest removing that again on the sides um, the fence does look good throughout here we do have a basketball goal back here that will most likely need to be removed as well okay that's pretty much it on the back and the exterior we'll just check out this other side of the front real quick before we go inside. Try to be as thorough as possible. Okay, so on the left side of the home, we do have some bushes here in the front. I'm sure that bottom board across is rotten just as well as it is on the other side. Um, up here in the corner, we've got rotten wood there as well. You can see the wood splitting and rotting. I'm seeing some wasps around here and I'm thinking we may have a nest inside of that siding there. Um, there's also missing screens on a lot of the windows. This one here has a complete hole torn into it. Um, you can see all the rotten wood here. This is just almost completely off. There's about 
a one inch gap right here. Um, all of the ceiling and caulking here is just gone. This board is completely rotten. And this side appears to be the same. This board across the middle is really bad. Um, you can see here this is all rotten. This bottom board on this corner here is about to fall out. You can see there's a nest that's been built um, by some critter that's up in there. All around, along the side, this is rotted wood. Um, up there as well, above the windows, more rotten wood. And the bottom on this side seems to be the best out of all sides of the home, but there's still um, rotten wood. It's all starting to decay at the bottom. Okay. Whoop, there's some wasps there. I bet he's got himself a nest in there. Um, this corner piece is all rotten, and of course there's no more sealant from the stone to it either. Okay. So summing up the exterior, about 85, 90% of the wood is rotten and will need to be replaced. Um, we are missing a door handle on the storm door and a pane of glass here. It's probably some of that broken glass over there on the driveway. And that screen seems to be in good condition. We walk in here, you can definitely smell the odor of um, cigarettes. I found a butt there. I'm sure that they did smoke in the house. You can definitely smell that. Um, the home is not clean by any standards. The tile seems to be in decent shape. Windows here are intact. Um, you can see where that window frame on the exterior, I don't know if you can see from the glare, but it's completely falling apart behind these bushes. The window seal on the interior seems okay. Um, just really dirt. There's some gapping in between the tile and the baseboards that could be sealed up just to keep buildup of dirt and dust. There's tape over this receptacle and this cover is completely broken even though they've got this light plugged in um, here the walls actually seem to be in pretty decent shape in here the paint looks pretty good um, again this receptacle here is just completely loose and off the wall um, seeing the gaps in between the tile and the baseboards. Um, it looks like we have a couple old spots in here that may have had previous water damage. It looks like they have been patched up. I'm seeing some cracking here in this popcorn ceiling. Um, also, this vent is about to fall out and it's really old and rusty and dirty and, and really just needs to be replaced. Um, there's another spot over here on this ceiling that looks like it was patched beforehand for maybe a previous crack, but that looks to be okay. Um, fireplace seems to be in good condition. I'm just cleaning this receptacle as well is loose from the wall coming off. Um, that one, I don't know if it's just been repainted before, but it seems to be okay. We'll go through here into the dining area. The tile in here does look good. I know that's probably been a little recently updated. The walls in here and the paint look pretty good as well. Um, this is that sliding glass door to the back. We did state that it was broken, but it is sliding okay and it does lock properly. Um, they also did have 
this little long bit here, preventing the door to open any further. Kitchen area. The countertops seem to be in, in okay condition. They're just a bit older. Just a bit of wear and tear in them. Definitely could use a cleaning. Um, there's lots of food buildup throughout there. I know this is where the stove sets, so lots of stuff that falls down in there. Um, we're missing some knobs on these drawers. They do appear to be emptied, but they could definitely use a cleaning. These cabinets are pretty greasy and sticky. Um, these here are all emptied. You can see the caked on grease up here as well. And just show that all of these cabinets are empty. We are missing knobs on all of these drawers. They will need to be replaced. Everything in here just needs a real good deep clean. Um, behind us, countertops over here seem to be pretty good condition. Sink as well could just be cleaned up. Um, they did leave a microwave, which just needs the cleaning. Looks like it probably worked. Um, I'm assuming this is a spot for a dishwasher. There's just a couple items left there. Some cracks in this old countertop. Underneath the sink, I do not see any water damage. It is nice and dry, just needs a cleaning. A lot of these cabinet um, door pulls are broken. A lot of them are missing knobs. There's a couple things left there. I'd probably just replace them all. It appears to that everything has been emptied. There's some paper plates here that were left. Okay, um, since the utilities are on, I will open the fridge. Um, real quickly, this exterior is really dirty. It looks like I'm sure that water filter need, most definitely needs to be cleaned or replaced. Oh, the fridge is actually fairly clean. There's no odor and it is nice and cool. Um, the ice maker is off and the freezer seems to be fairly clean as well. Good deal. Okay, walls in here in the kitchen still look really good. Um, trim as well. We'll go ahead and head back here. We do have our laundry hookups here. I did notice that there are smoke detectors here. So uh, the smoke detectors were removed because they didn't really notice them anywhere. Um, I see some batteries up there. There's a couple extra bulbs. There is a hole up here in the corner. I'm not sure what that is from. Also this kind of stick down linoleum towel is really starting to come up. It's pretty damaged and yucky in here um, where the washer and dryer sits. I did notice the dryer vent here. I didn't see it on the exterior. Um, it does have quite a bit of dust buildup in it. That'll probably need to be cleaned as well. The doors here seem to be in working order. Um, they both have knobs and they close properly. We've got a closet here. Um, several items were left. I see there's paint and maybe that's the paint to the home as well. Some brushes. There's also a receptacle wall plate cover. Um, we'll go ahead and head to the left here. This is one of the bedrooms. This carpet, I've assessed all the carpet throughout the home already and I really believe it just needs to be replaced. 
looks fairly old. I see a lot of debris and paint um, stuck in the carpets. This is actually miss, missing a threshold right here. You can see where the carpet is starting to tear up and fall apart. The walls and paint don't seem too bad in here. You can definitely see where the walls have previously been patched. There's a couple nail holes throughout, but nothing major. We do need a receptacle cover for this outlet here. This is the first bedroom that is facing um, the front of the home. And that's that window with the hole in the screen. Window sill appears to be in fairly decent condition. Um, this receptacle looks like it's just been painted over many, many times. I don't know if that posed an issue with plugging things in. There's actually plastic in here and this is starting to come off. I would just replace that. Um, the receptacles in this home probably really need to all be checked out and replaced. Um, this window does not open. I see at some point they've made it to where this will not open. We got some wooden chips jammed in here and it's actually been caulked um, with like a glue gun or something of that nature. This on the windowsill could be recalked as well. Um, I see they've done some painting on the exterior, but the interior of the door has lots of holes patched and lots of spots. It has not been painted. It probably could use a coat of paint as well as the closet. Um, it is cleaned out, but a little touch-up paint won't hurt. We've got our electric panel here. Um, here's a broken receptacle cover. <coughs> Looks like they just placed a piece of plywood on here and makeshift themselves a shelf. A little dirty back off in there, but not too bad. Walls over here look pretty good. Of course, you can see some nail holes. Um, and also this outlet here is missing a receptacle cover as well. Um, there is no globe on this fan, but it is working. And there's a light in it. We have a little linen closet here. These shelves are all purple board. They're older, but they seem to be in okay condition. Um, they work. The carpet was pulled up here on the bottom, so you still have the tack strips with all the little nails in it um, from the carpet. So that may be something you wanna tend to. That could be dangerous. This here is our second bedroom downstairs. It's our master. Um, the paint in here looks pretty good. Um, you can see where they've previously patched some holes and a few nail holes. It's not too bad. Um, again, they did paint the exterior of the, the closet doors, but did not paint the interior. They could definitely use it. You can see lots of scuffs and dirt and marks. Um, just throughout, just from age and wear and tear, it could just use a, a touch up of paint. I've got this light on too to help shine a little light on here and it kind of blinds some of these spots that I'm pointing out. Again with the carpet, um, you can see it has been vacuumed, it's still it's not in a very good condition. Um, Again, I would just think to maybe replace it. This window seems to be in pretty good condition here. Window sill as well. Um, this wall looks pretty good, as well as that receptacle. And this wall as well. Um, this window sill has been cracked. It maybe could just be sealed up and repainted here. That could probably just be fixed. The window seems to be in pretty good shape there. Here is our downstairs bathroom. Tile floor looks good. Could definitely be cleaned. Um, toilet seems pretty decent. Just could be cleaned. Bathtub as well. Um, the tile in the tub shower here looks pretty good. You can just kind of see where 
may need to clean up the, for the mold and the calcium on that bottom grout line around the tub here. I did leave a shower curtain. Um, this light plate switch is just older and cracked and missing screws. The sink here um, has an old fixture. I tried turning it on, but the water's off. We can't do anything about that at the moment. Um, cabinets have been cleaned out. This is nice and dry. I've been trying to find um, some water damage since they said the water had been running and they come to turn off the water. I'm not sure what's going on with that very large red bulb, but that could just be replaced. Everything else in here, walls look good in this bathroom. Um, that's the spot where one of our smoke detectors would go. And we'll go upstairs now and finish up this walkthrough. Okay. Up the stairs, the stairway carpet is very, very, very dirty and stained and just not, not in good condition. Um, also, the paint through here seems to be fairly decent shape. Looks good through this hallway and the trim as well. There's a couple steps here. I don't know if it's the carpet just moving on them, but it makes them kind of look like they need to be assessed lots and lots of stains on this dark brown carpet we'll go off to the right here we do have a bedroom the paint and the walls seem pretty good condition really thick coats of paint i know that these access panels have been screwed in and painted over i don't see any issue in that we don't really need anybody in there anyways this window seems to be in okay shape um, the exterior panel is definitely off of that. I'm sure that's one of those that we saw down at the carport. And you can see at one point this um, windowsill here has been damaged, but it's been painted over and sealed pretty good. It seems pretty solid now, so that'll work. Paint over here still looks good. Um, there's a little hole in this access panel, but I don't think that's much of a difference. We may be able to just cover that up. There's a hole in the carpet here. Again, this carpet is pretty much in the same condition as the rest of the home as well. Just to be replaced, I would believe. Hole there. Um, this closet really needs to be repainted. And this particle board shelf is not going to hold. Um, that needs to be removed. If anybody sat anything else on there, it would definitely break and fall. We're missing the globe on this fan, and I think it's right here. Um, it just needs to be placed back on. That vent up there seems to be in okay condition. Um, we are missing a doorknob on this door here. Looks like brand new hot water heater there. Everything looks good in there. I did test to see if there was any water around it. I could not find any. Um, we do have a bathroom here off to the right. Um, it is dry right now. There is some water in the tank, but since the water is off, I didn't want to flush it. This seat definitely just needs to be replaced. It's in real bad shape. Countertops and sink look okay. Um, just missing a couple light bulbs up here. The paint and the walls look pretty decent. And the bathtub isn't bad either. Um, looks like at some point it's been recocked, so maybe just a really good cleaning on this tub and we'll be good. Um, I did check underneath the sink here. I see that they had a towel under here, um, and I think that's just to kind of cover this bottom, but I have not found any water damage. It is nice and dry. There are a few things left here. Um, these drawers definitely need to be cleaned out. That one's off track. I don't even know if, if there's a track to so put it back on. Um, this door trim piece here is kind of bowed up all around the door, but it seems to seal nicely on the wall. 
So maybe that's just how this is. I see where they put a little couple shims in there, I guess to get to fit that door closing appropriately. We have our AC condenser here. I have not found any water in here either. I do see there's a couple of boxes for fans. Um, really not anything else in there to name of. And then we have our last bedroom here upstairs. Paint in here looks pretty good besides a couple nail holes. Recept there looks good. Um, the window here is taped with duct tape. I'm thinking this glass panel on the top may be about ready to fall out. Um, and of course there's not a second pane or um, a glass or screen at all. This recep looks pretty good down there, just repainted over. Paint on the walls look pretty decent. Um, there's paint all over the carpet in here. And lots of black stains. I don't know where the black stains come from, but they're there. And they did paint the exterior of the door and the door handles on most of these doors. Um, maybe that can be cleaned off to salvage those door handles. And this could definitely use a coat of paint in here. Looks like this was patched. There was maybe an access panel there to the bathroom or tub or something at one time. And there's no um, shelf or hanging. I think that was it. Lots of nails sticking out of this. An old shelf. So maybe we can just make shift something. Um, there is some watermarks up there. They do look old, they do not look fresh, but I'd maybe get those checked out. All right, everything else in here looks good. Vent looks good. I mean, light switches are painted over, but they work. All right, that is it for this condition walkthrough. Thank you.